you need to stop working on your personal projects and get yourself an actual job. Hey there, I'm Saga and I'm a software engineer in London and I've been working for just over a year now. I used to think that working on personal projects would make you a better software engineer, but I've come to realize that this is not actually the case. Okay, okay, it's true in part, but on the whole, not so much. Let me explain. Being a good software engineer requires much more than you just to be technically competent on your own. I'm not claiming to be the best software engineer. I personally don't think I'm anywhere even close. But most of my knowledge of software engineering has just predominantly come from working on personal projects. And now that I've joined a really awesome company with some of the best software engineers I've ever seen, I've learned that I have a lot of skills that I do lack in certain areas. Here are four of the most important things that you won't actually learn just by working on personal projects. The first one is having to learn and understand a complex code base that you've not actually developed from the ground up. Having to learn a complex code base is actually quite difficult, especially since you don't really know where to even begin. I'd say the best way to really start to understand the brand new code base of this scale is just to work on the problem that you've been set out to solve and sort of explore the files and stuff related to that problem. Um, a good way of thinking about it is, is like if you have ever played the game GTA and you have to explore the map and then once you explore new areas of the map it becomes unhidden when you you know open up the map. It's kind of like that. So you just, in essence, you learn more and more about the code base just from exploring whilst doing projects and little tasks associated to maybe like the defect you need to fix or like the feature you need to add. I don't actually think there's like an easy way to just learn the code base straight away. And in fact, it's just gonna take time to understand how to learn a new code base. And the more you do this, the better you will become. Next up we have working in a professional software engineering team and well you can imagine that you don't actually experience or learn how to do this if you're working on projects by yourself. If you're working on your own personal projects then it's likely you're not going to sort of learn how to properly organize and plan and estimate time it's going to take to complete certain tasks and if you are working in a professional software engineering team these are the sort of things you're going to have to do to ensure you actually deliver the work on time. And honestly there's no better way of doing this than just actually working in a professional team like this and so that's why I'm saying you know it's great you're doing personal projects but you know it's better to actually get a job where you're going to learn these skills even though it might not be at your dream company. Ultimately if you want to be the best of the best software engineer then you're likely going to be working in teams where other people are the best of the best as well but if you can't effectively work in said team then you're not really going to be a great addition to the team. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Communication is a big one, and I think this is something that you will definitely lack if you've just worked on projects by yourself. Whether it be written communication or oral communication, you know, this is a mandatory skill to have to be a great software engineer. Professional software engineering is very much a team sport and you have to be great at articulating, you know, if you have a problem with something, explaining, you know, what the problem actually is, whether you have a solution for someone else's problem, and even explaining some of the work that you have completed. And if you don't learn how to communicate effectively and efficiently, you're going to be wasting your time, your teammates' time, and in essence, the company's time. I know I personally have to work on this as I've seen firsthand how my ability to communicate in a technical fashion is very much more you know, inferior to some of my colleagues who've been software engineers for years. So this is somewhere I have to work on, I guess.
The fourth thing is writing good code. You're probably thinking, yeah, but I can, you know, I know how to write good code if I'm working on projects every day. Well, I would agree that you partly know how to write good code because there are two parts of this. One part is that the code is great. It, you know, covers the functionality that you need to build. But the second part is, you know, how readable it is to other engineers who don't, who've never seen, you know, this piece of code before. Writing amazing code that works really well, but is very difficult to read and understand will have a lot of value in the short term. But when it comes to it needing to be refactored or updated, then that's gonna be really problematic for engineers who come in the future because they'll have to spend so long actually understanding what the code does that they're just gonna be wasting time and therefore money. So yeah, writing great code is not as simple as, you know, just having some code that does the job. You need to make sure it's readable by other engineers as well. So there's two sides of this coin. A great way, in fact, to check if your code is greatly readable is to let another engineer who's never seen your code before read it and basically count the number of WTFs you hear them say. There we go. As you can see, there's a lot more that goes into being a software engineer than just being able to write some code. And if you found this video interesting and you know, you learned something new, definitely hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Comment down below if any of these things surprised you. And let me know, are you a professional software engineer or considering being one? Yeah, I'd love to hear that. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.